<laughs> Honey Heart C. Hello, mini fans. Today we're going to be painting a dream unicorn. Yes, with these Briar My Dream Horse sets, you can paint the unicorn of your dreams. There are four of these unicorns to collect. So we're going to be painting these two today. And then these two will be in part two. So you do not want to miss it. <gasps> Look at how pretty! This is so gorgeous! I love this one! Woo! Oh, this one too is so pretty! They look so cool blank, but now they have been primed and they are ready for anything you can possibly dream of. So they each come with a little mini paintbrush and three little pots of paint. So it looks like... Oh! We've got a silver. Oh, that's like a pearly pink! and a pearly purple. Oh, I'm in love with that pink color. All right, let's get painting. Now the paint brushes are nice and stiff right out of the packaging, so I'm only going to kind of fluff one by just going like this with my finger. And this one I'll keep nice and stiff still so that it will be easier to paint their eyes with this one, but this one will be nice and fluffy. There we go, it's like having two different paint brushes. Dip in some water and we have to try out this pink color. Ooh, it looks so pretty. So we can just paint her and it does do a fairly sheer amount of color on her. So the very first coat is going to be very sheer. There we go. So I used just a little bit of water and now I'm just dragging that paint out to create this really sheer wash of color on her. Oh, this is so pretty. There we go. The more I take that paint and drag it, there we go, the sheer it gets. Or you can build up the color and make it a darker pearly pink. This one is gonna look gorgeous. Dip a little bit in the water here. If it kind of builds up a little bit too much like it did here on her stomach, just add a little bit of some water and just move that color around. We'll have this pink kind of just fade out whenever it gets closer to her face here. Create a little blaze for her. Keep that paint moving and moving. If you get too much of buildup of color, just dip your brush in some water, blot it on a paper towel, and just erase that buildup away. Then I'm gonna go in with the pink again, and I'm gonna give her a very dark, pearly pink tail. Woo, look at this flowy mane. Okay, this one is really beautiful. Of course, I'm gonna be careful as I get closer and closer to her body color. And we'll get this piece that's kind of flowing right in front of her head here. Now for this beautiful standing unicorn, I'm gonna go in with just a tiny, itty, a bitty, little touch of pink. I mean, you can barely see it on my brush. It's just a teeny, tiny amount. And I'm just actually gonna use this and just very faintly paint it on her lower legs. So it's just a very, very small amount of color. So I wanna keep the majority of her body all white. A tiny little touch, and then I'll do the inside of her legs too. Ooh, that might be too much. Just a little bit. And I have no water on my brush. I'm just keeping it nice and dry. And same thing for each one of her other legs. Just a tiny bit on the brush. Start low and then kind of drag that paint up. And if you think you grab too much paint on your brush, just dab it on a paper towel. Start low again, add that paint on and just kind of feather it all the way up. And if any paint gets on her tail, I'm just gonna use a little bit of some water and just wipe it away. Now I'm gonna take my paintbrush, I'm going to wipe it on a paper towel and really dry it out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do like a splatter technique on her. So on my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it in some water, dab it off a little bit, dip it into my paint and into the water again. And you can use a piece of scratch paper as practice and then you just kind of flick the paint and it creates these really cool little dapples. You just wanna keep your paint nice and wet. So as soon as you're done practicing all your little dapples, now it's time to do it to the unicorn. One last practice. 
Oh, that would have been too much. Gotta get that perfect ratio of paint and water. Here we go. Yeah, she's gonna have the most beautiful spots. And because I wanna keep her mane white, I can go in with some non-acetone nail polish remover. Now, of course, for my younger mini fans, have a parent help you. Dip a little bit on a Q-tip, and very carefully, I can wipe away any of the pink paint splatter that's splattered in her mane. That way, I can keep it white. Just be careful of any drips. You don't want it to drip onto her coat color and mess up that beautiful splatter. You can also use a toothpick to kind of get some of those tinier spots off the mane. But again, make sure for my younger mini fans that an adult is helping you with this. Take your paintbrush, dip it in some water, and carefully just wipe away. Now that the unicorns have had a chance to dry, now we're gonna go in with a little bit of some nail polish magic. Now since the paint pots only have three colors, you can use any of these colors if you want to paint the, ooh, the hooves, the horn, and their eyes. But I'm gonna go in with some nail polish, like this beautiful gold color and very carefully paint their horns. Oh, look at that sparkle. Oh, yes, good choice. Now they look even more magical. Every unicorn needs to have a beautiful horn. Yes. And this isn't just like a metallic gold either. It's got like beautiful, fine golden glitter to it too. So their horns can be extra sparkly and magical. Same thing with their hooves, just a little layer of gold. Don't forget the bottoms too. Like a teeny tiny hoof manicure. Remember to always control how much nail polish you have on your brush too, so that way it doesn't just drip all over. You want a nice, steady amount. Then lay them on their side so they can easily dry. Now, on a toothpick, I'm gonna go in with some black nail polish. Take just a teeny, oh, whoa, look at that brush. Teeny tiny amount on my toothpick, just right on the tip. And very carefully, I'm just going to dot the eye. Now take your time with this one because this one is so small. Oh, she has like the smallest eye in the whole entire world. A little bit more. Ugh, that brush, ah, it's dripping. Now her other eye kind of helps if you just kind of bounce the toothpick very lightly back and forth, up and down to get just the perfect amount of polish on there. Oh, her eyes are so small. Ugh. I seriously don't know what's going on with this. Carefully just kind of bounce it to dot her eye. Just bounce it into place. Now, of course, if you have black acrylic paint, you could just use that, but I just wanted to use all nail polish for the additional details. Ooh, there we go. One more eye. Ooh, I have to be careful, because that looks like it's kind of a lot on here. You don't want to have one eye that's too, ooh, too big. Just bounce it on. There we go. Yes! Now, there's one last thing I'd like to do to make these unicorns even more magical. Uh-huh, yep, and that's add some glitter. Give it a shake. Yes, glitter time. Glitter makes me so happy. I just use a little glittery nail polish, and I'm just gonna add it right to her mane. Oh, look at that. Yes, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. She is super magical looking now. Yes, this is so great. Oh, I just love her so much. Oh, can't forget the other side. And the top of her mane here. Can't forget about this. Ooh, if I go in with a second coat, it makes it even more glittery. And take my toothpick, add a little glitter. Now I can paint her forelock here. Ooh, yes! Ooh, she looks so amazing! And of course, we can't forget about the pink one too. Just Paint her tail, oh, look at that, yes, I love it. I mean, there is nothing more magical than glitter. Actually, wait, take that back. Nothing more magical than a unicorn covered in glitter. Put some on my toothpick again. And just go in with those kind of finer details. Ooh, I'm using this nail polish so much, it's like starting to dry out. All right, well, there you go, mini fans. These unicorns are finished.
finished and I am absolutely loving them. I am so happy to add them in to my collection. They are so, so sparkly and pretty. I didn't even use the purple or the pearly gray. Ooh, maybe I'll use them on both of these ones in part two so you do not want to miss it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep being creative, keep loving horses, and I'll see you horse crazy mini fans in my next video.